everyone, she was Kathleen, keep on. Back in 2018, the fun started with the Crash and Crow T-Rex. And after that, it was the bite and fight. Then we have got treated with the Epic Rolling T-Rex, which in my opinion still is one of the best Mattel T-Rexes. And recently we've had the Stomp and Escape T-Rex. And now we have the newest one, just in time for the third and last Jurassic World movie, Dominion. And for that we've got the Trath and Devour T-Rex. I wonder who comes up with all these uh, cool names. And the Trath and Devour T-Rex is Mattel's fifth medium-sized T-Rex. And as all the other four uh, T-Rexes, it comes in an attractive uh, display box. And it is the first box actually that uh, features some uh, artwork of Rexy, which you can see here on the left hand side. And that's where we also have the uh, updated uh, Dominion logo. It mentions the uh, sound and action features. And what the box also mentions is the uh, Jurassic World Facts app, which you can install on your mobile device. And unfortunately the uh, scannable code is no longer integrated underneath Rex's uh, feet. Instead, it's been done on a pull-out plastic tab, which is uh, just behind her neck. I'm not a big fan of that, as it is uh, no longer as discreet as the uh, coat underneath the uh, feet used to be. Let's take a quick look in the back of the box. And you can already hear uh, one of the sound effects as the uh, body goes uh, crosses side to side. On the back of the box we've got, of course, a uh, photo of the uh, figure uh, mentioning again the uh, various sound and action uh, effects Thump, Trash and Devour, so it's actually a Thump, Trash and Devour T-Rex and on the bottom we've got the uh, UPC code and Mattel's item number, which is helpful for you, especially now that we are still uh, before its official uh, release date, which will be April uh, 17th. So these numbers will help you to hunt this toy down. And we remain on the bottom of the box since that's where we will start our unboxing here. Where the uh, right arrow is, just open this flap, remove the plastic screws, no tools required, also retrieve the uh, instruction seat. And then cut the two uh, threads with or holding Rexy in place inside the box. In order to save space in the box, uh, this T-Rex also has this uh, really weird uh, ankle joint. And so we have to uh, move her feet outwards like this and then we have Rexy in her full glory, the Trust and Devour T-Rex. And speaking of the packaging, you better believe I got two of them so I can uh, keep one uh, in the box since I really, really like these display boxes a lot. I mean, uh, these look uh, fantastic and I put them on the shelf uh, for display my collection. And now we want to look at our Trash and Devour uh, T-Rex 
as it is loose and liberated from the box. And I want to start uh, first with looking at the head. And for that, I want to bring in my Epic Roaring T-Rex because I want to show you a difference. Uh, one of the most uh, notable difference besides the uh, coloring, the paint top of course. But take a good look at the head. And you can see that the head of the Crass and Devour is an entirely different mold. And it is much bulkier and wider than the uh, uh, head of the Epic Roaring T-Rex. Actually the same is true if you compare the new Trust and Devour with all the other uh, mid-sized T-Rexes that have been released by Mattel so far. The head sculpt is really much bulkier. And we will see why that is in just a moment. Take a good look at these two heads. You can see the uh, eyes on the Trust and Devour are pointing forward as well. We've got some nice uh, scratch marks, battle scars on the claws on both sides. And when we open the Crass and Devour's mouth, uh, you can see uh, the tongue has been molded into the lower claw. It is no longer um, separate. Like on the epic roaring T-Rex that had a uh, rubber tongue, the one on the uh, Crass and Devour is plastic molded into the lower saw, but it's pointing slightly upwards. And we can also see some nice structure uh, inside the upper saw. And of course the most notable difference uh, inside his mouth is that the neck is hollow. That allows to uh, swallow uh, the mini dinosaur figures, but unlike on the super colossal T-Rex which you can see behind me, we looked at it uh, last week, the figures cannot be retrieved uh, on the belly through a flap, so uh, these just fit inside the neck and then you have to retrieve them the same way that Rexy uh, swallowed them. And speaking of uh, the belly, you can see the uh, coloring on the belly is a lighter uh, shade of gray that goes uh, all the way back to where the tail begins. You can also see the speaker and the battery compartment. The Crass and Devour QX requires three button cells, LR44. And they are included, of course, as you can hear all the time. Now, uh, let's look at the uh, face again. I think this is uh, still a fantastic face sculpt, clearly recognizable as a Stan Winston Studios T-Rex sculpt. I'm just not too keen on the uh, stark contrast between the uh, lower jaw and the uh, rest of the body. But overall, I like the paint top. It's uh, slightly less detailed than on the uh, new Super Colossal T-Rex. Uh, for example, we don't have the uh, black uh, tiger stripe pattern uh, running across its back. It's uh, kind of a uh, sleek, dark brown, uh, almost black uh, paint top. But unfortunately, the Trust and Devour suffers from the same paint sub issues that the uh, previous four figures had as well. Mattel still didn't paint the arm claws, which is a shame for this price range. And also, the thumb claws on its uh, legs also remain unpainted. 
which I really cannot understand. It would not have been a lot of additional effort to uh, simply paint them black like the uh, toe claws are on all of these T-Rexes. The uh, molds of the uh, legs and feet look great, however, and you can also see on the twats and devour the there. They aren't exactly uh, mirrored, so it looks like the figure is in a walking stance. Also, when we look at the tail, it is nicely curved upwards, which I really, really appreciate. You will remember that the first super colossal T-Rex, which you can also see a little bit behind me, uh, had a more or less straight tail, which is pretty unnatural. But let's bring in the uh, epic roaring T-Rex again. And you can see uh, they definitely did better uh, at these medium-sized figures. Um, while the tails do look pretty similar on the Epic Roaring and the Crescent Devour, it is not exactly the same mold. Uh, the Crescent Devour's tail is slightly large and slightly bulkier. You can also see that at the, uh, when comparing the action buttons. The Crescent Devour's neck is articulated. It has basically two joints, and already before unboxing, we've looked at this uh, plastic tab that has the DNA code to scan with the Jurassic World Facts app for your smartphone. And what you can also see when comparing with the Epic Roaring T Rex, which is the most similar uh, T Rex. Uh, to the Tracent Devour is that they are of uh, the same size, just like all of the uh, other uh, medium sized T Rex figures. The Tracent Devour is 21 inches long, 7 inches tall, that's 54 by 18 centimeters. So this is a very good size, it's not too small and not too big. Uh, easily playable for any child, it's just the right size. And then we've put the Epic Roaring aside for a moment as we look at the articulation and the action features of the Crescent Devour. You can pose this dinosaur in three different positions. Looking upwards like this, and the regular walking position and the hunting position like this. And then on to the sound features, if you move her tail to the left and right, you can hear a crashing sound. On the upper side of her tail, her mouth opens and she's letting out two different roars. and wide and I think the roaring sounds are the best so far ever heard on a Mattel T-Rex you can hear it's a kind of a combination between a thumping and a roaring sound also, the arms are articulated. They can go around 360 degrees on both sides. And of course, 
as already mentioned, the feet are articulated as well. They can swim in and outwards, although that is not really natural. I don't think any T-Rex was able to do this, but they did this in order to uh, save space inside the box. So what's my favorite from all these uh, five medium-sized T-Rex Biggles by Mattel? Well, that's a toss-up between uh, the Crescent Wall and the Epic Roaring. I like the Epic Roaring a little bit better uh, when displayed inside the box. And I also like the uh, paint up a little bit better of the Epic Roaring since the uh, lower colors were basically the same color like the rest of the body. It looks more natural. However, my Epic Roaring has weak joints. You can see it can no longer assume the uh, uh, regular walking position. Uh, at least it stands more or less like this. And Having these two dinosaurs make for fantastic dinosaur fights. Uh, you can really go head to head with these as they uh, feature similar action features and you can control them from uh, pressing the uh, buttons on their tails. Playtime fun definitely is guaranteed with Mattel's T-Rex and the newest Class and Devour T-Rex definitely, definitely does not disappoint. Uh, it is available uh, from April 17, 2022. Uh, actually, uh, just like the super colossal T-Rex at which we looked at last week, I have been able to get this a couple days earlier. Here in Switzerland, uh, one of the online toy retailers doesn't really care about the street release date. So this video here is actually uh, recorded on April 6th. And it got released uh, just a couple days ago. I had it sent to me within uh, two days. And if you cannot find the Trust and Devour in your country just yet, uh, please continue to keep an eye out using the UPC uh, code and Mattel's item number, it will appear really, really soon on the shelves, uh, basically no later than April 17. The US retail price for the Trust and Devour is going to be uh, $44.97. Of course, that can vary a little bit uh, once it is uh, definitely released. Good luck and thank you so much for watching this episode of Kitwana's Toys. Goodbye!